Okay guys, so basically in this video we're gonna make a tire list okay of Genshin character but we know it's gonna make it according to like which character is stronger as a DPS okay okay like we are not gonna go here with damage wise okay like uh, not the meta wise but I will make the list according to the the flexibility of the character like like how flexible the character is how optimized the character is i mean you know in that way okay so let's start like uh we will see like uh if this character is good as a dps okay the first thing then we will see if this character is good i mean can, can we use this character in many teams like uh, or do we have like some type of like bonding here like we can't use it just like nilu team just like Nilo, we, we can't use Nilo in blue, I mean, in other team mostly, like, I mean, she's, like, born to use, like, as a bloom, okay. So, like, we're just gonna find a character which is just so flexible. You can use it as a TPS, as a support, as a sub-TPS, you know, like, in that way. So, we will make it, we can, we will make the uh, tier list according to that, okay. Uh, the character which, which can be used in mostly team, okay, which is easy to use. Easy to build, I mean, like, uh, let's forget about easy to build, okay. So, we will just talk about only uh, good TPS, okay. Second, uh, can be used in many teams, okay. Second thing, third, uh, like, so, like, we're gonna decide the flexibility like this, and uh, and you know, like, easy to play, you know, like, uh, you don't struggle when you play it, or like, it's not like clingy, just like uh, Ganyu, okay. So, Okay, so let's get started, guys. Okay, so uh, according to me, okay, Raiden. So I will put Raiden, of course, in a style. Okay, she's indeed the most flexible character. I mean, she's a good DPS. Okay, she is good sub, sub DPS too. She's a support. I mean, she can be your battery too. Like, okay, you can literally use her in any team. Uh, Raiden National, Raiden International, Raiden Hyper Carry, Raiden. Uh, Danger. Now we can even use it with Danger. Okay, even like now in new lit team or like Eula team, like she can be used like in any team. Okay, she can be used as DPS, as support, as sub DPS, as battery. So like, she's indeed easy to play. Like there is nothing to be. I mean, she's not cleansy or like she's not tough to play or like or like easy to build too. But we are not gonna talk about the build. But okay, second character is Yalin according to me. Okay, who will be like an S tier. Oh yeah, I mean, she's indeed like a sub DPS, okay, but if you get her main weapon, she can be a good DPS too, okay, she can be a good DPS, she can be a good support, I mean sub DPS, and and she's also like easy to play, you have to do nothing, I mean, she's a bow character, but if we don't even use her bow like a lot, we just use her burst and like skill, and she's indeed the best character, in my opinion, okay. And, and all these things I'm telling according to my opinion, guys. Your opinions can be different. I know I need to say, but... So, yeah, I will just tell according to that, okay? So, if we go with... Okay, I just... Eula, okay. So, I guess I will put Eula in B team. You know, you know why? Because, like, she's strong, okay? I mean, she's very strong character. She's a good DPS, okay? But she's actually not easy to play okay you need to learn her so many things like stats then then the team she's not comfortable i mean she's like uh can't be used in many teams and she's she can be always used as a dps like not even as a sub dps or like any others in any other form and and uh, she's really hard to play like really hard to play so i will just put her in a b okay okay and uh Okay, I'll, I'll be too. Okay, I will put him in A. I have a reason. Okay, so I think like he's a very comfortable character. I mean, uh, let's forget about the DPS. I mean, as a he's like a good support. Okay, so and he's like very comfortable to use and like a uh, good support. I mean, you you all you have to do just, uh, all you have to do is just use her uses E yeah? and uh, just and I mean his skill is just like very fast. Okay, so like I mean. And you can use him like in any team, okay? And uh, he can be used in any team. So, of course, I mean, he, of course, he's not gonna be in S tier though. 
okay but he's not that bad too okay and uh, i feel like uh he gonna be most more usable with navia i feel like when navia comes maybe uh people will use him a lot okay and i hope let's see so like he gonna be like more useful in future i suppose and uh, yeah so i think he should be in a according to that like according to flexibility and like uh and his ease also is very strong if you build him like recently my albedo was doing with the new artifacts he was 19k with e so with like a ftp weapon and i mean it's a c0 so yeah he can be very good too and okay i see kazwa so of course i will put kazwa in e oh sorry s okay because we all know okay i guess we, oh sorry that's not bra okay whoever make this kid i don't know okay that's a b2 but oh my god okay kazwa is here okay so i will put kazwa in s there i guess everyone everyone gonna be agree on this okay because okay he is the best support okay he is the best buffer okay he he is like a good dps too. okay if you build him as a dps he can do a good part as a dps too, okay so there is no doubt he can be used in any team okay and plus he can be used in any team you can just use him in any team and he's the best crowd controller okay like venti is also one of the best crowd controller controller but in some way venti is not useful or like usable where kazuwa is like a international usable i mean i mean uh he's very useful you i just i just noticed if you imagine genshin impact without kazuwa it's you uh it's like very hard to imagine in that way i mean Genshin impacts look so hard without this guy he just make Genshin impact so easy so i feel like this guy totally deserve si okay so yeah uh let's see another one uh le let's see huta okay i will put huta in a time okay i mean she's hard to play i mean okay uh i'm not putting her in a b because uh she's if you learn her she's not that hard okay i mean uh, some uh, okay so basically she's a good dps okay we all agree but we were agreeing like uh if the character is good to use to like or flexible so so i think like uh she has some version to like compatibility like right now but uh but uh, you know like when you when i played her she's not really that tough okay i mean she looked tough but if you really uh like in case of eula okay so if you talk about eula so in case of her she is like still like slow okay she's slow and uh, she's still hard to play even though you no matter how much you learn her but if you learn who uh like uh she can be a very good tp i mean she she's like very fast so like all you have to just learn is like uh if you have c0 you have to learn just like uh cancellations like jump cancellation just i mean according to me who tell is not really that bad in clinky character and uh, so i will just put her in a so that's what i say okay so uh let's see uh okay lenny i just see lenny here I guess I will put Lini in A tier too. Lini is a good character. I mean, good DPS. Like Lini is really a good DPS, like S tier DPS. But he's also like not much useful in other team. Like he will be the he's the best in Lini Mono Pyro. Okay, we can use him like in other other team too. But he he will not be like like not that good. So he can't be uh, in S tier because of that. Like so, I will just put him in A tier. Okay, so let's see. Okay, new blade. He's indeed the uh, S tire once again. S tire, okay. Uh so we don't have like much uh, support of new blade right now, okay. I mean he's like a solo character for now. You can literally put him in any team, okay. I mean of course he's not gonna be a uh, sub DPS, but you can you can use him as a quick swap, you know. I recently use Inspire like quick swap Neolite. I just basically use Neolite, Raiden, and Yala. And I was not, I was just playing every character equally. Like when Neolite ult ends, I saw Yala ult and after Raiden ult. And I mean, that was like so uh, satisfying to him. I mean, that was the satisfying rotation and the, 
and everything everything was just dying okay i mean i just get the full star with this this guys so this guy is really like he's a good dps like he's a god dps to be honest he's like he can do anything solo but also like he's very comfortable so i think like he's a very flexible character he's like not clinky he's easy to play too like very easy to play like so comfortable to play so i'm just gonna put him here uh okay so let's say um, uh let me see if it's recording okay oh yeah so i just see shana okay so i will put shana in b team uh to be honest i want to put her in a c team okay uh actually the thing is like she's not able uh, she's not usable except just for cryo buff like i mean she is like really i mean her design is just so good okay i mean but besides the design she's not really useful i mean except ayaka she she's like best support for ayaka and i guess you can use her for yula too but i mean except that she's like really not usable you can never use her as a dps okay that's what i think because she's also like her normal attack is very slow too okay even if you build her like as a dps or like physical dps like she's very slow as a normal attack i mean so i think like beside the uh, cryo buffer she's not able to use i mean i, I literally know to use her i, I mean i don't have Ayaka. i have only yola and shanha and um, i just sometimes use uh, shanha with yola only otherwise shanha is not usable in my team yes you can use it with shongyun too but but yeah, i still that's what i think Oh yeah, so uh, Ganyu, I will put Ganyu in a B team again. So basically, she's a Charles Bow type, okay. She is also slow, okay, and uh, she's very tough to play. I mean, you need to learn her. And I mean, without any, you need to shield. If you like, not good. Uh, if you're not a good dozer, and I guess like eighty percent people might be not a good dozer. Okay, like you can doze. Okay, so basically, like she's like. You can say like only I mean she's a very good DPS. I, I think as a DPS, I I I could have put her in a star. Okay, the people who just so god in dozing, they can even uh they can even use her in soloing spiral. Okay, I even saw some videos of spiral where people are doing solo with her. Okay, I mean she's indeed a very deep. I uh, she's a very good DPS. Okay, and she can she can do anything solo if you learn dozing properly and. Uh, and she's a very good with mal too but again she's very clinky i mean she's uh slow she's hard to play and uh, very tough to uh, i mean so that's what i think so like i think i should put her beside eula okay since you oh yeah this guy uh, should be an s tier in tier should be an s tier okay so basically this guy can do anything he can one shot any boss if you build him properly he is a very good sub dps we all know okay and also he's a healer too <laughs> so like and he's very easy to play easy to build uh, i mean sorry uh we're not talking about the build though okay so this guy is in t for the s tire okay and uh uh zongli i'm i'm gonna talk about zongli later okay so deha uh, i would and say some people might think like she deserves to be there but i don't know why you guys think that to be honest i could have put her on b but i guess nah she's better in c so basically why i'm putting her in c not in d so like people just think her as a dps i mean i mean why people want to play her as a dps i just don't understand like people compare her compatibility according to the dps i mean I mean, just forget about the, how good, how bad she is as a DPS. But just think how good she is as a interruption breaker. I mean, if you just use her E, if you just build her as a support, I mean, she is very good support. Okay, she can literally, uh, she can be your shield. To be honest, I mean, she she's not basically a shield character, but uh, her interruption breaker is like so good. The way she supports. It's just so good 
it's just so comfortable but you can literally use ganyu ganyu can be usable for her okay ganyu can to melt you can use her as in ganyu team ganyu melts and ganyu can be also usable for it because like uh when ganyu will do charge attack uh, no one go, no one going to interrupt her okay like so like basically i don't know why just people is compare her just like keep just trolling her like she's bad she's bad she's bad well, okay according to the dps ness i know she's bad as a dps but just think how good she is as a support so i think she is a very good support so that's why i will put her same to be honest i feel like she's better than shena to be honest because she's more useful than shena in many team you can use her even as a burzen too she can be used in burzen team too and so i actually to be honest want to put her in a b actually yeah we should put her in a b she is like very useful in so many teams okay like as a as a burzen she's good okay as a support she's best you can just so i guess yeah she deserves to be on b okay yeah i mean go i am going to put her in as star oh yeah i am not b as star i know uh she's my favorite but i i'm going to tell you like i know so many people doesn't like her i know like so many people think she's not good to play but i want to tell you just 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 tell me how she's not good to play okay you can literally put her in any team okay or you have to just do her use e and just switch to another character that's all i mean you can you can even make her as a dps character okay i was using her as a dps too yeah i miko aggregate team is one of the best team okay yeah i miko aggregate uh literally i beat spiral so many teams uh so many times with yaimiko i grew it okay and uh, yaimiko when i use yaimiko and i use it together yaimiko hyper bloom is good yaimiko with region is good region e is good region yai hyper bloom region yai uh aggregate region yai uh like no moment to like i mean she can be just put it in like in, in any team okay you can use her in any team she can be a dps she can be a sub dps she can she is like very good character i mean she's very okay she's not easy to build i but okay okay so but besides that she's a very good character easy to play okay easy to uh, i mean very flexible it's like not clumsy anything she doesn't need anything like shield or anything she's just perfect character and uh, believe me she carried me a lot okay so i just want to put her in s tier because i think in my opinion she is very flexible character she is very useful useful and she can be used in so many teams and she is really good okay oh naida in dear s tier oh yeah she is also s tier arco i mean she is a very good character she i mean most people use her as a sub dps but but they don't know how good she is even as a dps i mean you don't even need to make her a dps even when you just play her sub dps just try to give her just kind of little crit and a little crit damage that's all and she will do 40k plus even as a support okay even without dendro goblet even if you put em goblet there it's still like she will do damage, damage. i mean i mean she's just insane support okay she's the best support best buffer and uh, best sub dps like one of the best sub dps uh i haven't seen anyone like use her as a main dps like really a main dps but if they do maybe she will do good part in that too but but she's really good even you don't really need to main her as a main dps just you even use her sub dps and support that enough she will do good amount of damage even with that so and she is really the best meta i mean and she's really good so there is no doubt she is an s star okay oh okay, yeah uh let's see more character uh okay fuzil let's see fuzil i guess i will put fuzil in a i could have put her in s star too because like she's going to be like a uh, very good but she's not as good as sensho so yeah so okay so fuzil is a very good sub dps and even if you build her as a dps she can be good but she's not really that easy to play as a dps because like you have to learn the 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 normal tech i mean some people use her as a like machine gun type like but there is like but it's hard to learn so like yeah so those people who uh, who know how to do it it might be like best for them but so i don't think like as a dps she's easy to play i don't think so like that's why but as a sub dps she's best so like 
and uh, she really took good damage, even like in the aggregate team. And like, yeah, so she deserved to be an A tier. Shangling, to be honest, I wanna put her in uh, I tier, but I will put her in A tier again, uh, because like since you can be used in many teams, but Shangling doesn't have that much options here, and um, I mean Shangling is a good DPS. She is the uh, god tire deepest to be honest. She's like the she's the only four star character I think like who's the most happiest story and most like uh happiest. I mean she's the most happiest girl who doesn't have like any sadness or anything. And she's like the one of the best character in Genshin Impact. Uh, she can break the game, spiral. She's just so good DPS. Okay, she can do hundred K plus if you just build her. Uh like too much good like or okay even like she will do 40k damage 30k damage with vaporization like or like 20k even if you have like literally 100 112 crit damage i mean i mean she don't even need a good crit ratio to do a good damage so like she's one of the best character but she's not usable in many teams okay she have some teams and oh only where she performs a good okay so yeah, because of that, I don't think I should put her in S tier. So yeah, that's why she will be like an A tier. Okay, uh, let's see more. Uh, ban it, okay. Ban it also like in A. Okay, again, because ban it is a good buffer. Like, I, I guess if we talk about the buffer, here is number one buffer in game. Even the better buffer than Nahida. To be honest, I don't know. Well. Bandit is the best buffer indeed and Bandit is a good DPS too, I mean sub DPS. If you play him as a sub DPS, he will do 100k plus, 200k plus, okay. If you could, uh, if you make him like as a, uh, if you make him DPS, try to make her sub DPS, he will do good damage, damage too, okay. Even with the uh, low ratio, okay. But still, he can't be used much as a sub DPS or like can't be used in many teams and so yeah because of that i will put her him uh in a eight in a eight tire okay so i think uh that would be like much better so okay let's see more so okay zongli i will put in a again he's like one of the best shell okay he's a best shell there is no doubt and yes he can be used in many teams but i mean He's not uh, what I think. Like his, uh, he can also do like uh, so good damage, like hundred K plus. Like, but but it's still like I feel like he shouldn't be like next time. I don't know. Maybe I will get lots of hits because of that. But I don't know. That's what I think. According to my opinion, he should be like a tire. I I feel like he 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 don't deserve to be next time. I mean, it's not about deserving. I mean, I just think that's all. Like. Uh, he's like more better to be like E team, E tire. Okay. Sara, uh, should be C. Okay. Yeah, she's a good buffer. I mean, she's a lecture buffer, and uh, she's like a best region buffer, and nothing to say. I mean, that's all we use her mostly. So yeah, I think she's just a good uh, buffer. And so like it should be like she's a be like say we don't know about anything about Farina right now, so we're not gonna pick Farina or Charlotte or Risley or Risley Risley, whatever the name is. Okay, bye. Okay, so I don't know why, but I totally wanted to put her in a style, but I would just put in a. Okay, the reason why I feel like a bye could have been like in a style because uh because Baizu is like really very easy to build, oh sorry, uh, easy to comfortable to build and easy to play one of the best healer, okay. I didn't use him as a DPS or sub DPS, so I don't know how he performs as a that role. So that's why, that is the only reason I'm not putting him in a star. Uh, if I could have known him like uh, how good he is or like uh, as a DPS or sub DPS, so... I could have put him in a star. So right now I have no knowledge about it. So I just know him as a healer. I have him. His talent is level three. 
and level 7. And believe me, no matter what, he never let me die. He is one of the best healer, one of the most comfortable character, one of the most... He, he will like buff too. Uh, if you know, like, uh, he kind of buffed you. Uh, like some reactions. So like, and to, to be honest, he is just very comfortable. And I mean, if you have him, he will never let you cry. He just one of the best healer, and I think if you have him, you don't even need Zone Lane as a shield because like his uh, that uh, when he has UQ, uh, I know that's not a shield, but it's kind of interrupt. Like even if like it's for like one percent, you can say even that one percent, one percent is very useful in some ways sometimes. So, uh, Baizu should deserve to be in here. Okay, here is the people say Kukup is the best healer, but I say. Baizu is a best healer. Like Kukumi, indeed, like she heals good, but she also like she doesn't heal like whole team. Sometimes, like in a spiral, if you like go a spiral lower, sometimes uh you got uh, uh I mean you sometimes your all characters is like very low HP, okay, and uh, uh, you sometimes just want all of them to heal at the same time, and it's very hard when when you have Kukumi or Bennett. And uh, who heals like one by one character, and uh, and you can just like one shot you or like anything. Like there are like so many enemies. But uh, when it comes to this, Baizu is the best character and Zane. So I feel like according to me, according to me, I personally feel the best healer in the game is Baizu number one, and second is Zane. I mean that's what I feel. And third is Barbara. Well, yeah, that's my opinion. Oh yeah, let's just take Zane because of that now. I will put Zane in B though. Oh yeah, so Zane is a good dealer, like I say. If you build her if you build her as a if you give her like a good ER, okay, and just like a small amount of attack too. Okay, even if like two even if 1.5k attack is enough, even though she's gonna heal like 50% HP of yours, but at least like she's gonna heal all character C. And if you have like a good ER, so like she can just do 50-50. Like again and again, so like it's like much better. That's what I feel. So like I mean, she she's like not. Uh, she, you don't even need like a, a farm. Like a, I mean, you you just need to put some attack on her. Okay, even like a, to be honest, you know, like what is the best uh way to build her? I don't even. You don't even need to go for all attack. Okay, just build her as a sub DPS. Like go for the crit. Then animal goblet and uh, attack goblet or like ER goblet. Oh, sorry, attack uh, sand or ER sand. Okay, any, but just make sure you have like a good amount of attack in a sub stat. Okay, and you're giving her two piece attack and two piece attack or two piece ER or two piece attack. So that's enough. Okay, you don't even go for all attack or like all ER. She will perform like good as sub DPS. Okay, I mean, if you build in that way. She will heal you because like she just need attack, okay? And I feel like even 1.8 attack is good enough or like 2k attack is like perfect. For me, 2k attack is perfect for her to even heal. Okay, you don't even need more than that. She just, and just give, just put like good ER, like I guess 200 plus ER if you like doesn't have any animal, animal character. Uh, If you have like others animal character, then I guess 190. I mean, if you just, if you just uh, need her, uh, Burst like again and again, like then just try to go to replace yeah, That's all, like, and and yeah, that's it. And she will also do some damage too when you use E and also she's really good to be honest. I could have you, I could have like uh, put her like in A, okay, because of that, but I guess never mind. Uh, B is okay, okay. I have to, I will put in A, okay, I'll put I to in A. Um, this guy is really very best to play. Okay, very, very, very good to play. Very strong. Uh, he a very team competitivity. To be honest, we should go for the S side, okay? Cause I just remember, uh, we just we can use her as a sub DPS too. Like I use her, I use him. Sorry, uh, with Yaimiko, I use him just for like burst only. Okay, I don't even do anything. So this guy is also you can use uh, in freeze him. As a sub DPS, you can use him. As a DPS, you can use him. Uh, he's a good DPS. He's a uh, easy to play. So this guy is good to be there. 
and I'm gonna I'm not gonna touch those character which I haven't which I don't have okay like Ayaka I don't have but I know she is Esther okay or maybe well I will I will just take Ayaka because I play Ayaka enough in other people's account so I guess okay then I can just choose her okay so she will be like an Esther okay why because like say she's easy to play all you just like e and the balls and she's a good dps indeed okay she's a she can be sub dps too okay she can be used in many teams like melt freeze uh a many dps hyper carry or like even like person i mean i mean with dendro you can put in dendro bloom sorry not the person you can put in with dendro it will be like a freeze bloom or like I mean, she literally have so many options. Like recently, I played her in different account with like Hutao. I was using Hutao as a main DPS and she just sub DPS. Just I was using her for like so like Hutao can do mild direction and just like I mean, she's indeed to deserve to be like Esther. She's a good DPS. She's a good support. I mean, not really that support. I'm, uh, but you can say sub DPS. Okay. Uh, sometimes if you're like bored. To play with her like as a sub deep I mean the main DPS, you can just even play her with like a sub DPS too. And and she's like very comfortable. And so yeah, can be used in many teams. So yeah, she deserved to be dear. I don't have Kokome. I have played with Kokome. And I feel like I haven't I haven't played with like a full build Kokomi yet, so I can't say anything. But my experiences with Kokomi is very bad to be honest. So I'm not gonna say anything for now. For Kokomi, uh, okay. Shao, I have played with Shao like in other account, so I guess Shao is uh, um, I don't know. Let's talk about Shao, okay? So, once again, Shao is a good DPS, okay? Shao has some issues, okay? Like uh, the HP issue, okay? His HP dive and his uh, uh, plunge, okay. So, when you do jump attack, so basically, we can solve it with heal or a shield, okay. So, to be honest, Shao is not that bad as Ganyo and Hula. I feel that way. So, I will put Shao in A tire, okay. And to be honest, Zin. I should put Zin in it too. I, I feel like she doesn't deserve to be in B. Because like, I mean, she's not that bad. I mean, she's a good sub DPS. Even like as a main DPS, she's good. And she's a good healer. I mean, I just do, I just feel like she doesn't deserve to be in B. Because in B, we all have like those characters which is like kind of cleansy. And yeah. Okay, so Shao can be used as sub DPS too. I don't feel in that way. But, but Shao sensitive to be in pain okay shall have only one issue which can be solved with uh, a good heal or like a good shield or if you can just manage in any way i mean uh so i feel like he deserves to be in a and uh let's see sucrose okay i will put her in s tire there is no doubt she deserves to be an s tire okay she she is a good support she is a good sub d base she is even can be a main dps okay she is even like a good as a dps so if you just play her if you build her i mean she is like one of the best character to use in spy lab is so like this girl to uh, this girl should uh this girl definitely deserves a star okay um traveler we're not gonna talk about traveler or maybe amber okay people say she's bad so uh, but I wouldn't say anything because I haven't used her properly. Okay, Barbara. I will put Barbara in a tire. If you have C6, okay. I'm only talking about the C6 Barbara right now. So basically, Barbara is a good bloom. She's a good in bloom team. Barbara is a good healer, according to me. Like she heal with E. If you just even if you use Barbara as a healer and you have a C6, oh you will just never die. Because even if you die, she will revive you. She can revive your fallen character in like in in every fifteen minutes. Okay, if you die, like really die, she will just revive you with full HP, like hundred percent HP. 
and again so like if like she if you're using her as a like a full healer and uh, her e will heal you her ult will heal you and even if you die she'll still even revive you if you have a c6 so i think she's one of the best healer and if you use her as a tp she do charge attack and rake plus with vaporization okay if you use her in a freeze team she can be used in freeze team too she can be used in bloom team too she can be used in burst team she can be used she have literally many options team option to be honest i could have put her in a star but but i guess uh, that would be much better to be a star i mean she's not that good to be in a star but yeah she's definitely she definitely deserves to be in a but she has some compatibility to be in s but yeah but yeah she's not really that good or uh i mean to compare to those stars so yeah uh scara i don't have scara i'm not going to talk about him toma is good i will put him be toma is like uh i mean toma is hard to play to be honest as a shield character if you really build toma as a shield and if you just don't and but his shield is very hard to play like uh like his shield is very kind of clinky you can say like you need to do some stats okay for shield to make uh, stronger otherwise if you just don't know how to use his shield it will be just very weak i mean the shield will break easily but i feel like toma is best in burzen team toma burzen team is best and toma even can buff your hu jiao if he is c6 because he buff normal attack and charge attack if you have c6 so uh only because of that i guess he should be bae because of the burzen and like he's very good in burzen so yeah b so like he do have some team competitivity like uh, competitivity i mean he can be used like in so many team like not so many but good enough same like burzen team uh even sometime in vaporization team in vap team okay oh uh, wait uh, and uh, in hutao team even you can use uh, like hutao sha uh hutao toma yalan shinjo that would be like our best team team so like since you like uh, so i guess b is is like okay for him kavi i don't know i i'm not going to say about anything okay so let's see kaya kaya is also be okay kaya is a uh, good sub dps we can use even mal uh, kaya is like a good character he can be used as a melt and even if you build as a dps even like a physical dps he's good so yeah a uh, b uh lisa c because lisa is also like a uh, not much usable and she sometimes can be useful for eula and uh, i wish she doesn't have like much team option so and yeah she's not really much usable in so many ways so yeah uh noel to be in b to be honest noel to be in a okay noel deserve to be in a noel is a uh, if you have c6 again I am talking about Noel C six, okay, not the Noel C zero. I am saying Noel C six deserve to be in A, okay, and Barbara C six deserve to be in A, okay. So make sure that to keep in mind, okay. So Noel C six, I mean, when she is on C six, she is a good DPS, like very good DPS. When I am saying like really very good DPS, she can be a support too, because she can provide good shield. Of course, her shield skills are like, I mean. yeah that thing too but she also heals you i mean she also heals you okay so like shields heals dps and can be used in geo team can be used uh in other same for the supports or like for heals uh be very best characters for beginners players and like i mean so yeah she deserve to be here cookie to be in a cookie is also very good character and she is good since the intro came okay she is like a good healer if you just put all hp she is really good healer too uh she is a very good in hyper bloom okay if you just put all em on her okay and uh, she can be used as you for you lot too if you just if you want uh, 
Eula to super connect and heal. So for Eula, she can be used. She has really many team options, and she's really one of the best character. So and and with Hyper Bloom, I mean, and uh, with Dendro, she's best. Like literally, S tier with Dendro though. So uh, she deserves to be an S tier. Dinari, I don't have Dinari, but I have seen his gameplay sometimes like in uh, on youtube videos and he's really one of the what i think is like he's really one of the best character one of the best character in, from the standard banner he's really a good tps but but i'm not gonna talk about it much though since i don't know much mona to be uh deserved to be like an a she is a good buffer she is very easy to play all it is alt and uh, she is you can be a she can be a sub dps too and she can be used in many 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 teams she is like one of the best buffer and yeah she deserves to be an a all hit him e he is good dps he is like very 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 good dps and and uh he is like uh Maybe he can be the sub DPS. I mean, I don't have him, but I play uh, with him like my uh, a little time. So I guess like he deserves to be like A. Okay, so yeah, he should be near. Nilo B to be honest. Okay, she literally have not no options except Bloom. She is indeed the best Bloom character till now, but. Besides that, I mean, you can use her like in vaporization, but she's really not that easy, easy to use in that way. And yeah, we need some skills to use her properly if, if we use with like in, in vaporization or like another team. So yeah, I guess she deserves to even be. And uh, let me see more character. Uh, okay, Yao Yao A. She's a good healer, good sub DPS. And uh, really, like, I mean, she's like really a very one of the best ender character ever. She's a go healer, good with Broom, good with Berzel. Like, she's best, one of the best. Chongyun, I haven't used much. Uh, these three characters. Wanty, I will put A. I will put A. He is like uh, really easy, easy to use, okay, but he don't have like much team. He can't be used like in many team. Otherwise, I could have put him in SR. Like he's like only useful for the crowd, and if you don't have crowd, he's not really much useful. So yeah, that's why. Otherwise, if you talk about the team, he can be used in many teams. Like so many team options, easy to use, easy to build. I mean, so comfortable and a very fun character. So yeah, he. It should be an A. Child should be an A team. Child, because like child doesn't have like much team options, like much, but it's not like he doesn't have like a uh, few. I mean, he do have like some options, but not much. And uh, he can't be really used as sub DPS, like really. He is like one of the best DPS characters though. So yeah, but so yeah, I guess he's better in A. Uh, Diana should be near. Uh, the best shield, I feel like the most comfortable shield we have is Diana shield. Like, really, one of the beautiful shield, one of the cutest shield, one of the best, strongest shield. And she even heals, she even provides cryo particles, she even provides like, and when you have C6, she even provides EM, and I mean, there is no doubt she's either. I mean, she's just one of the best healer and healer. Even I like as a healer, she's she's like a good healer. So like, yeah, she deserves to be E. Itogoro, I'm not gonna say anything about them. I don't use Geo much, but Ningguang I used and I think she used to. Uh, she deserves to be E. She is very strong DPS. If you have C6, I'm talking about the C6 Ningguang here. Okay. So, but Diana, I'm talking about C0 Diana. Even if C0, Diana is C0, she is uh, really deserving in A. She is really good. But Barbara and uh, Noel and Ningguang, I'm talking about C6 here, okay? So, 
Ning Wang Wang, she's she's like, she's god DPS. Okay, she's one of the best DPS, and uh, we can even use her as a support. How you mean how? Okay, so basically she can provide you geo buff. Okay, if you use her E and if you pass through from like that uh, that meter, you will get extra fifteen percent geo bonus. I guess that right. So if you like another another geo character like Noel, so like she can be a good uh, buffer for Noel. And if you use four piece Petra on her, and that also like provides some buff again. Okay, some damage bonus. So like she's really can be uh played as a support too. Uh, she's a very good DPS, and she's easy to play, and she's also fun to play. So yeah, E. And uh, alloy, I have nothing to say about alloy, so I just put D because like I don't own alloy and. I don't know how to get much, but to be honest, I would just not put her anywhere. Okay, I don't know much about her, and okay. Uh, so now these character which is left here. Like if you talk about the Jandro Traveler, so I will put a, but we have so many. Okay, so I will just not touch it. Okay, because I feel like. One of the best is Dendro Tila. Dendro Traveler is the one of the best, you know. I don't use Bidu here a lot. Like so so now like these characters which is left. I don't use them or like I don't have them. Okay, I have Rosaria. I will put Rosaria in a team. If Rosaria C6. So Rosaria is like one of the best character you could use for the battle tip. For support. Okay. If you like Rosaria as a support, like I mean, her ult can do damage, and if you have C six, she is one of the best character for Eula, and uh, she provides some cryo elements, which is good. And I mean, C six Rosaria, even if C zero, she can be useful in many teams. Okay, so yeah, Rosaria should be there. Kiching, I will put on B. Oh yeah. So, Kiching is a good character. I mean, fun to play sometimes, but like she's not really that good to be honest. Uh, you have to use like charge attack, or like according to me, I feel like Kiching should be in B. Or so yeah. Tiluk, I didn't use Tiluk. Kili, I use Kili. I will put Kili in a T. Actually, uh, I uh. Kili is really like weird to play and I, I feel like she's not like uh, I don't know like she's not like that good to, uh, according to me but she's very cute too okay she's very cute character and she's a good in mono pyro team but I feel like she is not really that great but she's just good when we talk about the cuteness that's all Haizu should be in A. He's a good DPS. He is really one of the best four star DPS till now. So he should be in A. But besides DPS, he doesn't have like many roles. Okay. And uh, so because of that, I think he should be in B. Okay. Because he's not really useful in many teams. And same for Kitchen. Like, we can't really use uh, sub DPS. If we talk about the kitchen, so yeah. By the way, why Kaya in B? I guess I put Kaya in A. Well, Kaya deserves to be in A. I I guess by mistake it came here, or I don't know. Well, Kaya is uh, Kaya definitely deserves A. If I put him in B, now I just realized he shouldn't be, because he he is like a good DPS, like I say, and he's a good sub DPS. And he has so many real roles he can be used in many teams too. So like yeah, he is indeed uh, eater. Hyunjin is a good support and like a good buffer. I will put Hyunjin for a C, okay? Because like she is like useful for like if you have C six. Only then she's like useful like for the speed buff and she can be for this speed she can be useful like Ayuto and uh, she's like a good buffer for Ayuto right like really and so yeah I guess but but still I feel like she doesn't have like much much team 
options here so like yeah she should be in c goru should be in c too like he only buff two characters and like does it have like, does it have like much team options there so like yeah dory i never use dory b2 i never use b2 okay so now the character which is left i never use them i use yanifin so i will put yanifin a team Yanifi deserves to be in A team. She is a very good shield. If you just build her as a shield and you have a C6, she can be like a tanky fight. She's a good, very, she's a good DPS. If you just really, I mean, she's really one of the best DPS if you just put her with a good build, even like not that good, even like a average build, she will do good damage as a reparation or like even a melt. She's really good to be in A. But. She doesn't have like much team options, like she's a DP, she can't be used like in uh in that way. So I just put her in a B category because of that. And uh Yeah guys, I guess now I should stop. So that's it, because I don't use these characters much. Okay. And travel will be confusing because we have like so many travel uh options here because we have so many travelers so like when it comes to gender i will put a when it comes to hydro i don't know what to say lol <laughs> and uh anyway is also great so so let's just not talk about travelers here and and uh that's all guys thank you for watching me guys and all of these was my opinions okay that's what i thought so so keep that in mind that was just my opinion and um, i guess now comment what was your opinion guys and comment below according to you which character should deserve an s tier or a tier or b or c or d okay and make sure to tell me like how much wrong i was or how much right i was like yeah thank you for watching guys i will see you in the next video